every year thousands of pounds of unopened or unused medicine goes to waste here in the state simply because there's nowhere to send it. But a new bipartisan bill could see that change by building a bridge between Nebraska and an Iowa nonprofit. 1011's John Grinvald has been speaking with the people and groups behind the bill and joins us with more. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It makes for a cleaner world. And at least part of that mantra can mean saving lives when applied to medicine. You guys are letting me off easy. The Prescription Drug Donation Act aims to partner Nebraska with SafeNet Rx, which inspects, stores, and redistributes unopened medicine. It's just the right thing to do. The fact that we are destroying perfectly good medication and not getting out to people that potentially could use it is wrong. Tabitha offers one of Lincoln's many long term care facilities. No one with the organization wanted to talk today, but it's these kinds of places where prescription medication piles up, leaving vital capsules by the wayside just waiting to be disposed of. That disposal process is full of environmental hazards and it can be costly to do it properly. It costs twenty five dollars a pound to send it down to uh, we send it down to Texas to incinerate. 30,000 pounds of medication from Nebraska are destroyed every year. This bill would help create a pipeline from hotspots for heaps of unused medicine like nursing homes and prisons to the SafeNet RX facility in Iowa and then back for free to those who fall through the cracks of America's patchwork health care system. The SafeNet RX is the the source of medication, the source of last resort. We provide medicine to patients that would otherwise go without. The fiscal note for the bill is murky right now, costing between 50000 and a $1 million a year. But some say this could help the state save on emergency costs by being proactive. And if a patient comes to a decision where its cost is too high, they're not going to take their medication, they're not going to treat their condition, and they're going to get worse because of it. The bill has 41 co-signers, all but eight of the state's lawmakers. And John Roseman with SafeNet Rx says if the bill passes, lower income Nebraskans could start seeing those recycled medicines by the next fiscal year. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.